Hello everyone, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. In this tutorial, I will basically teach you how to steal any color uh, graduation or lot from any movie you want and make it into your own photo inside Affinity Photo. Okay, so for this one, we are going to be using uh, Instagram <laughs> and a website that it will help us to give us a value that is really important. So we are going, to, like I said, we are going to be needing Instagram. I found out this profile. It's really cool. It's called colorplate.cinema. That basically gives you the color palette of any movie you want. It's really, really, really cool. It has a ton of movies. Follow me on Instagram. I will leave my profile somewhere in the screen. <laughs> and we are going to be using a website called Colorizer, Color Picker. So it's colorizer.org. Okay. We're going to use, be using this one to get the HSB color, basically the brightness value from the color that we are going to be selecting. Okay, so let's go inside Instagram and let's find something that we feel that matches with this photo. Mm, what else? What else? Oh, here. I think that I saw this one earlier. Yeah, this one could work. It has very similar colors. So, let's just use this one so inside of finite photo we're going to select the photo and we are going to click on gradient map okay we just click on gradient map let's click on the darks this is basically the blacks and we are going to scroll this and select darkest black that we can find on the image in this case it's this one you can see that is like the blackest black <laughs> Now we're going to go into the whites and it's just a matter of doing the same thing with the whites. Uh, for example, in this photo is uh, here in the background or on her forehead. We can see this really, really white. Color. Okay. Now select the middle point and let's delete it. So now we are going to click here on the blacks. And here's something we can do. Okay, so as you can see, the palettes have 10 colors. We can use five of those 10 colors or we can use all 10. It just really depends on how much time you want to invest in this. So we are going to use this. We are going to be using just five colors. So let's select on insert, click here, and let's start with, um, let's start with darkest. Okay. So you can see that it's the screen. Just, just select and go into colorizer. Click into here and just change the hex code. Just like that. Okay, and we're going to see that the value is 11. So let's click on position and let's put it on 11. Just like that. It's that easy. I know. Let's go into Instagram, let's click on insert again, and let's just skip the second one and let's go into the third one because we're going to only do five. Do the same thing. Look here, and we can see that the value is 32. Use here and press on 32, just like that. Let's go into the next one. And instead of this one, we are going to do this one. Okay. So then just here, select that one. Select the color. Go into colorizer. Just like that. Now let's go back. And we have five colors. Okay. Uh, we're going to do it with five. And after that, I add 10 after I explain what's going on inside the photo, okay? So right now you should be here. You can see that the image, it doesn't really look anything like the photo, but we're going to go into the blend mode and here are two options that you can use. You can use something called soft light, that is this one. That is just for that um, really subtle effect on the image. And we can play with it using the opacity. You can see that if I put at zero, it looks standard. Put at 100%, it looks really tough. If you have ever used something like Lightroom, 
it works similar to the filters. So you know how if you put the filter at 100%, it sometimes looks really weird. And you gotta tweak it a little bit just so it looks good on your photo. Or if you have, some, if you have used something like a lot on a video, it works exactly the same. You know that you have a slider, it's the same thing. But in this case, it's the opacity slider. You can see that around something like 80. It looks really good. I personally like it. But now if you want something more colorful, we are going to go into soft light and let's go into color. Just like this. You see how it's really like colorized. And we are going to scroll down all the way to zero on opacity and we are going to work our way. So you just slide it up and you can see how it starts to like turn. So something something around there for me it looks really good and you can see without the effect with the color okay so now let's just do the all 10 colors so you can see the difference between both of them let's just duplicate it and let's turn this off and let's do all 10 colors this is basically like the color now if you want to save it uh let's call it fallen angels because that's like is the photo so let's add preset and let's put fallen angels um zero one because it's just one frame put on okay and like you know you can put it on color or you can put it on soft light okay if i put it on soft light you can see we just work the slider something like that but we can also <clears throat> put it on color okay now we have the photos side by side i'm going to just click here so let's just dial it down to something like 65 something like 65 and we can do some basic coloring uh i mean some basic editing so brightness and contrast Let's just pull brightness down a little bit. Let's dial the contrast down. Let's actually bright, yeah, the brightness down. Contrast. Okay, so this is without it. You see that it looks very like reddish. With use it, it looks a little bit more like greenish and it's using the exact same colors from well the photo and you can see that this one is the one using just five colors okay so this one is using five colors and with the editing that we did and this one is using all 10 colors you see just the one with 10 colors add a little bit more um, color spectrum on the image but the one with five colors honestly for me it looks really good and we can actually play with this one so it looks like a little bit more from 45 changes are subtle so let's just make it bigger so we can see the final product so okay so it's just a matter of playing with like how much you want the effect to be and this one like i said this one is five colors and this one is 10 colors okay see this one has a brighter color spectrum let's also put it on to the five than the other one and that's basically how we can still any any color graduation into your image inside of any photo so as always i really hope you like the video i hope you enjoy it and this is just like an introduction to all of this color grading editing everything with affinity photo uh, if you would like to see more videos like this please let me know down in the comments or if you would like more like um photo manipulation editing like i've been doing also leave it down in the comments and as always Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Again, I I only like to do this because the light looks really cool. Cause like yeah, the video ends right now.